This is a Ruby tag. It's a weather sensor. Uh, it provides temperature, air pressure, humidity, and movement data, moving data. That means uh, accelerometer data. It has a Bluetooth low energy uh, transmitter and works as a beacon. It has a waterproof body with this small uh, hole here with a hygroscopic uh, foil and this allows the sensor to be mounted and operated outside and not only inside. You can put it in a fridge, you can put it in a, in a sauna, it has a temperature range from minus 60 degrees to plus 85 and works well with these specifications. So the battery keeps two to four years depending on the mode uh, of operation. So how to mount that anyway? Right? It has nothing to mount, only to lay there. Uh, that's nice so far, but I have developed a body for it. And that is these three printed, uh, see the deep printed body, right? And you can put it in, you can take, put it out and push it from the back. And it has two holes, one hole to mount it in at the surface and the other hole, the smaller one here, and it ends here, is for a seal. So if you operate that in an environment where it tracks the temperature of some fridge uh, and, and some goods uh, with uh, temperature limitations, then uh, it should be that it may be it's sealed because the data is the data you trust. And that's important to have such a case and to mount the case in that case that no one can affect it, no one can fake it and else. So we can close it with that small. So you can open it, you can close it and you can add a seal onto it. So we can. This so symbolizes the seal. You can know what to do and then you can seal it. So that's it. So no one can fake the data, no can can affect the device without breaking the seal. And you can mount it at any surface with that hole here. And it's big enough uh, and around to strong enough to protect that device also for hitting something and else. And you can run it outside. You can run it inside and the body can get, you can get in PLA or PETG. Both you can buy with me, but also it's open source. That means like the open source sensor, it, uh, RuviTech, it's also the, the body is completely open source. You can get it in Thingiverse, both links to Ruby and to Thingiverse to print it yourself, you find in the comments below, in the description. And yeah, uh, you can buy it also with, at me if you want it, that I 3D print it for you, or if you want to have special modifications on it, maybe your logo at the, at the surface or what else, I can do that for you. Okay, bye.